That's interesting. That is true. Okay. I'm Catherine and this is Taylor and we'd like to welcome you on your Invisalign journey. We're going to give you some basic information that's going to help you along the process and hopefully answer any questions you may have. So that whenever you get your initial Invisalign, go ahead and put them in. This is your bottom tray for tray number one. And be sure you see it completely down on your bottom teeth and same for your top. Whenever you put your trays in for the first two minutes, chew on a chewy, then you should have two. Um, whenever you're finished, you can just rinse it off with some water and put it back in your um, tray case. Chew on it all the way around like this. And chewing on your chewy is going to help ensure that the trays are seated completely and are locked into your attachments. So after you finish chewing on the chewy, like she said, just rinse it out and you can dry it and then put it back in your case. When you go to take the trays out, Invisalign recommends that you come in from the inside of your teeth. That way, you don't have to fight the attachments. You're going to go in on one side and pull them down and work your way around, all the way around, so that it doesn't snap or break the tray. We ask that you wear each tray for one week. Your goal is at least 22 hours a day. If your tray is not in your mouth, it is not working. Whenever you take them out and eat, we do recommend that you brush, brush your trays just as you would brush your teeth. Put them back in after you eat, and you do wear them all night, unless instructed otherwise. If Dr. Morris prescribes you to wear rubber bands, you need to switch them out every single time that you put your trays back in. If you have a button on your bottom teeth here, then sometimes it's easier for patients to go in the slit first and then hook it around the button on the bottom. If you have a hard time getting the rubber bands around the slit on the top, flex it out with your fingernail a little bit, and that'll make it really easy for the rubber bands to go on, okay? And if you have a button on your top teeth, like this side of the model, do the exact same, okay? Hook it around the slit, and then around the button. If an elastic hook happens to come off, then you need to call us as soon as it happens because we need to put the button back on there, okay? Sometimes we have patients that say that the trays cause them a little bit of discomfort along their gum lines and their cheeks. If that happens, you can use a new emery board to smooth down the edge. If you're unable to do it and make it comfortable, please call our office and we'll be more than willing to smooth it for you in-house and make you comfortable. Invisalign does supply a case for storing your aligners. The number one reason patients lose their aligners is they accidentally wrap them in a napkin and then throw them away when they go out to eat. We do recommend that you use the case. It's small enough to fit into a pocket or a purse. If something does happen and you do lose a set of aligners, please move to your next set. Wear them for a full two weeks and make sure to use your chewies. When putting in your trays, we do ask that you do not bite them into place. That can cause breakage and warpage of the trays. Also, if you can flick the trays off your teeth with your tongue, they are not seated completely and properly. Some common questions that we get from patients are, what happens if one of my attachments comes off? If one of your attachments does happen to come off, it is not an emergency. Please continue to wear your trays and use your chewies. At your next visit, we will check, and if we need to rebond the attachment, we will do so then. Most of the time, people find these in their Invisalign bag, and they think, what are they? This is for a really deep clean. Pour a few of these in some water, put your trays in there, and they'll get them crystal clean, okay? Another question is, is it gonna hurt? Some patients do experience a little bit of discomfort and soreness when they start wearing their trays. Please continue to wear your trays and just take some ibuprofen or Tylenol and that will help with that discomfort. Another important question is, what do I do if I run out of rubber bands? DM us on Facebook or Instagram and we'll be more than happy to get you some more rubber bands as quickly as possible. So I came across this on my Invisalign trays and I have no idea what it means. This is what we call a stop sign. When you reach one of these stickers, what we ask is that you remain in that tray until you can come in and see us in the office. After you've worn the tray for a full week, you can go to nighttime wear until you can come and see us again. So wear them every single night until, we, until I see you? After you wear them for a full seven days for 22 hours, go to nighttime wear only. Okay, gotcha. Uh, 
button. Oh, hold on, sorry. I, when you said okay, I thought you were done, so I just <laughs> pressed stop. And then go towards the top slit. Top slit. Right, okay. Oh, 